Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing tests on this Batch Stove's 22 ounce ultralight cook pot. It's a uh, narrow pot that's a replacement for people that like to use the Heine pot or a Foster's pot. Um, it's kind of a narrow, like I said, a narrow pot. And I'm trying to find a stove that will work well with this. I've done several. And of them so far, the stove from Batch Stoves, the Batch Stoves 1.0, is doing about the best boil time. I'll give the list of them down below. But I got a comment from Colorado Camper, where Colorado Camper commented, Hiram, the only type of, the only other type of stove that I think would put flames right up the center of the pot, meaning right here, is the chimney style stove. I know the one I said you didn't survive the voyage, but do you have another one to try, such as the Brass Light Turbo 2D? Otherwise, I agree with you that the little BS stove does a pretty good job on that narrow pot. Just so happens I do have a Turbo 2. I'll give that a try, but I think what I'm going to try first here is the stove that I got from Colorado Camper. He sent me a bunch of his DIY stoves and burners. Unfortunately, this one, I don't know if you can see it there, got smashed in shipping. I mean, it was flattened. But I was able to pull it back out, and I'm going to try it today. Hopefully, it's pulled out enough to survive this. I'll give you the dimensions down below. The only thing that I might have some problems here is it uses three 16-penny nails for the pot support. The distance between the burner and the bottom of the pot is about one and seven eighths of an inch. That might be a little bit too far, but we'll see what happens. Again, like I said, I'll give you all the dimensions down below, diameter, weights, and all of that kind of stuff. So let me get some water prepped, get some methanol in here, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, so there's my water. I got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I have one fluid ounce of methanol in here, about 30 milliliters. It's filled it up right to the holes, so I put a little catch pan underneath. Let's light this. Start the timer. Now, I think you can see here, I think this is way too high. Well, maybe not. It's bowing, the flames are bowing in a little bit at the top, but maybe this will be okay just so long as the alcohol doesn't come out of the porch as it expands. But let's see where this goes from here. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature's up to 103 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too bad. Um, not sure if this will show up on the camera, but the flames are coming out to the outer edges and then a little bit up the side. So this is what I meant by having a nice flame just cover the whole bottom of the pot. The uh, alcohol didn't expand out of the holes, so this was able to hold one fluid ounce of methanol. Maybe before it got crunched, there wouldn't have been any problems at all, but you know, that's snail mail for you. Those snails are heavy. So let's see how long it takes for this to get to boiling. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 6 minutes. 40 seconds. Not too bad for a bent up stove. Now let's see how long this goes for run out. Okay, and there we have run out at 9.05, let's say. 9.05. Not too bad. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 6 minutes 40 seconds. Not quite as fast as the batch stove's BS 1.0. I think this did it in like 6 minutes 4 and then 5 minutes. Let me check here. First test was 6 minutes 3 seconds and then the second test I did checking to make sure that I had enough alcohol in here was 5 minutes 44. This was 6 minutes 40 and then run out in nine minutes. So not bad. Still makes this the winner as far as boil time. This would run out 
within seconds of getting to boil. So you got a little bit of time here to make sure that your water is pathologically, pathologically, bug-wise safe. Um, again, this might not be fair. This this stove has been pretty well crumpled, but uh, I, I still think that maybe these should be shortened up just a little bit. That's over an inch between the burner and the bottom of the pot, and that just may be too much. I'll have to see if I have some small cans. This is made out of aluminum apple juice cans, the 5.5 uh, fluid ounce. Fairly easy style to make, but uh, that takes care of that. So I'll, next I'll do a test on this one suggested by Colorado Camper again. I thank Colorado Camper for his suggestions. I thank him for the opportunity to play with his DIY stoves. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.